Couldn't be more excited to introduce a brand new product that we created for the reptile hobby. It's the Will Banks Homeostatic Incubator. I just wanted to give you guys an overview of kind of some of the features, show you a little bit about each model. We have six models to choose from, starting with the WH80 and going all the way up to the big monster WH760. Every unit from the smallest all the way up to the biggest come with all the same features. They heat and cool. They have shelves that pull out like drawers or you can remove the shelves if you want to like say take out every other shelf to allow a little bit more accommodation. Uh, they have locks, uh, built-in thermostat. They're, they're, this is top of the line. These have glass doors which are double paned insulated glass doors, which is really the industry standard when it comes to uh, temperature control. You know, there's a reason when you go and uh, buy milk at the grocery store, it's sitting behind a double pane glass door. A little bit about each model. The WH80 is primarily designed for incubating gecko eggs. So we produce a lot of Chihua geckos here. I like to incubate at 72 degrees because uh, we want to try for more females than males. And part of the challenge in, in, in a uh, shop like ours is we keep the air temperature warmer than 72 in a lot of places. So this incubator is designed so you can have precision air temperature control and incubate your gecko eggs at whatever temperature you want. This unit has seven shelves that will allow and accommodate these, these little gecko trays. Pangea sells these little gecko trays that we use. So you can fit two of these per shelf and you have seven shelves all the way down. So it'll hold a lot of gecko eggs. The next size in our lineup is the WH-154. Now this one is designed for more of a beginning hobbyist. It'll hold about eight clutches of ball python eggs. What do we mean when we say it'll hold eight clutches or it'll hold 64 clutches? We're talking about this uh, little shoe box. This is a shoe box that's, uh, that's available at the container store. This is what we primarily use to incubate ball python eggs in. Uh, we just fill it halfway with the vermiculite, put our clutch of eggs in here, and these are the containers that we put in the incubator to incubate our eggs. Next up, we have the WH240. This unit will hold 16 clutches, has all the same features as our other incubators, has pull-out drawers to allow you to set your clutches on there and still pull them out, access them, look at them without having to actually pick them up and take them out of the incubator has heating and cooling and built-in thermostat, of course. Next up, we have the WH380. This unit will accommodate 29 clutches. And again, when I'm talking about uh, how many clutches uh, an incubator will hold, this is with the shelves still installed so that it's more of a using in the real world type scenario. Um, I did, just just to tell, show you what the max capacity was, we did uh, take all of the, sh the shelves out and then see how many we could pack into one. It, uh, all that information is on my website. I don't recommend you using it that way. It's just not practical. How are you gonna check your clutch on the bottom? Um, it just doesn't seem like a good way to operate. I, I feel like that if you are getting to the point where you are exceeding the capacity with the shelves installed, then it's probably time to either look at a larger incubator or look at maybe uh, an additional incubator so you can have two incubators. And that's never a bad idea. I've always ran more than one incubator so that, you know, the old adage is don't keep all your eggs in one basket. I think that's not a bad idea when it comes to incubators as well. Now our WH450 is the next model and it is designed when you're, when you're really starting to move your business to the next level and you're uh, needing a larger capacity. This one will hold 35 with the shelves in. Uh, the, it, with shelves out, that information is on our website. I think it's a little over 40. Um, but again, that's not something that I really recommend so I don't 
I don't even remember what the information is. I just put it there for completeness. But um, all the same features, slide out drawers, glass doors. These are all double pane, commercial double pane glass doors. This is the same kind of door you would find on a commercial refrigerator. So they're really designed to maintain temperature correctly. The, the box is an all aluminum box with uh, foam insulation throughout. So it's just a bit, it's like your, it's like a cooler. It's really, really solid on, as far as our value. Next we have my favorite, the 760. This is the pro model. This is made, designed for people who are really doing this as a business. You know, it'll accommodate 65 clutches at a time. So if you're doing, you know, 75 in a season, you're not gonna have them all there at the same time. This incubator should be plenty of space for you. Uh, again, it does have the ability, if you took all the shelves out and stack clutches in there, you could fit 76 clutches in there, but I don't really recommend doing that. I think if, you, if you're exceeding 70, 65 clutches and you need more incubator space, you probably ought to look at buying another incubator. You know, at that point, you're making enough money that it's time to reinvest probably in more equipment and just get another incubator. But the, I'm, I'm really proud of our entire line of incubators. There's a lot of thought that's went into them from the revolutionary heating and cooling being in the incubator to uh, the built-in thermostat and the locking doors and all the features that I wish I could have found when I was starting out. So I designed the Wheelbanks homeostatic incubator as if I, uh, when I was first starting out, if I could have just bought an incubator, this is what I would have bought. The, the originally, you know, when uh, there wasn't a reptile incubator when I started out, that you just had to build your own. So we built them, I built mine always out of old commercial refrigerators. And you can see this has the look of an old commercial refrigerator. And I'd run heat tape and I'd put fans in it, computer fans to move the air around. And I had a lot of trial and error where I maybe put too many computer fans in and dried clutches out. And, um, but that was just the way you had to do it. That's the only way that you could uh, build an incubator is by seeing what works and what didn't. Um, you get to benefit from all the years and the mistakes that I've made in the past. This thing is designed to incubate your eggs perfectly. It, if your room overheats, I used to, when my room would overheat, I used to have to kind of crack my door. I would put like a two by four down by the floor to keep the door open like that. It's not ideal, you know? It, it allowed the heat to escape that's being generated by the eggs and it worked, but I did experience some birth defects whenever I was doing it that way. And I always wondered if it wouldn't be better if we could ha have a way to uh, leave the cooling mechanism in those refrigerators I was using and have it switch back and forth depending on what it needed. The, the problem was there just wasn't a way to do it. You know, I had to, I had to get where I am now to work with a professional manufacturer to really be able to engineer that, that switchover process. So that's what we've done for you. This is a professional line of incubators. It's not for everybody. They're, I understand they're more on the expensive side, but if you're wanting to really take this hobby seriously, I feel like one of the most important investments you can make is in your incubator. And I feel like the Wilbanks homeostatic incubator is the best on the market. A top of the line product designed for professionals, people who really take their hobby seriously, people who are uh, wanting to maybe move to the next label, level and get out of their homemade incubators and get into a more professional product, that's who this product's designed for. So again, I couldn't be more excited to share our new homeostatic incubators with you guys. Uh, if you have any questions at all, put them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer these questions personally. If, uh, if you uh, prefer just to ask your questions through chat, you can go into our chat panel on our website. We'll, we'll be monitoring that and making sure that we can answer any questions that you might have. I've tried to cover a lot, but 
uh, I wanted to make the video short as well. So if there's any questions you have, fire away. I'm ready to answer. Hit me up in the comments below and tell me what you think too. I'd love to hear just kind of feedback overall. What, what do you think of this product? I've invested a lot of time and money in it and I'm excited to show you guys. And um, yeah, I'm excited to see what you, what you think about it. Oh, <laughs>